Hello, welcome back to the channel. It is Dan Nocturne Knives. Today I am bringing you a quick unboxing of this knife I have in for sharpening. This is from the Instagram account TransEDC. Um, I'll link them in the description. Go give them a follow. They're doing great stuff. Um, this is in from Ethan to be sharpened, and then I'm going to try a little bit of anodizing on it. So we'll see how that goes. Let me open it up first. Got the Hinder X18 non-flipper on me today. So that's what we'll be using to open this up. Alright, and this is a damned design something or other. I don't remember the model name. Okay, here we go. Cool little box. And this one is cool because it's one of their full tie frame locks. Or actually, it's a liner lock. Very cool. And I think, as far as I know, this is pretty new. I don't think this has been used much at all. All right, off the bat, very nice. This These handles feel nice. Uh, the pivot here is cool. A little bit of inconsistent spacing here from the bottom to the top, but it looks pretty nice. And these handle handles feel so smooth. I like this cool little lanyard hole back there. All right, let's give it a flip. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Oh, I didn't know it was a worn cliff. That's cool. Very cool. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. See, the clip has recessed screws even, so the clip is sunk into the handle, and then the screws are recessed in there. Very nice touch, and this super deep loop over. Feels like a good tension on the clip. Not sure you'll be able to see. Hold on. There inside the handle, a lot of internal milling, even on the lock side here. Centering looks pretty spot on by my eye. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ergonomics, that's pretty good on first first look. Your three fingers kind of wrap in here. Your last finger goes in this flat. Yeah, that's pretty good. Jimping, pretty nice, not too aggressive. Um, the jimping on this lock bar, I can kind of feel that a little bit on my pointer finger. I don't know if I love that. That's something that would you would find out during use. I really don't know. Detent feels nice and crispy. Action is pretty smooth. Feels like it could use some lube. Yeah, definitely a bit of friction kind of in those bearings on the detent ball. But look at how nice, look at how nice and thin that's ground. Really nice, and the steel is 14C28. Very cool. I don't know how much this knife is. I'm guessing it's somewhere around a hundred dollars and for a full tie scales 14c28 that's all right totally fine and i love this worn cliff blade shape that's super cool take a look at this detent here pretty positive got a nice fairly sharp release and oh, that's cool look it has a little filler tab here for the other side of the clip, that's a nice touch. Let's see on the flipper tab here, jimping is nice. This jimping, I guess so you could do a push button, although that you can't really push button it because of the way the flipper is lined up with the pivot. Can't really do a push button. I'm not sure what this jimping is for then, uh, but the jimping on the top, sharp enough to catch your finger, but not sharp enough to be uncomfortable. And a light pull pops right open. That's that's nice action. I'm pretty impressed with that. Yeah, this is good action. This seems like a pretty well-made knife. Um, no blade play, nothing side to side, nothing up and down. Super solid lockup. I like the finish on the blade. It seems like a blast and then a tumble. And look at this, you see the cutting edge. Look at all that cutting edge. You get even more, it's even in here behind the front of the handle, which is a cool touch. Only problem I'm seeing is the edge is really, really close to this sharpening choil. So you could maybe get one light sharpening out of this, but you lay that angle back at all, and you're going to be running into that choil for sure. So that's a bit of an issue, a slight bummer, but 
this will be real easy to extend the choil on. Yeah, no problems. It doesn't use the choil to interface with the stop pin, so that would be just fine to extend, which I might do. I'll talk to Ethan and see if that's something he wants. Yeah, overall, my first impressions, I'm pretty impressed by this. The action is quite nice. It's breaking in even better just as I'm playing with it here. I think it's getting better. The detent is real snappy. Um, the ergonomics are good. The blade grind is so nice. Not sure how well you'll be able to tell, but it's actually quite a nice grind on here. It feels real thin, maybe like 15 thousandths, like real thin. So this is the damned design fair rear tie in Stonewash 14C28. Excellent. I'll pull out a few size comparisons. Okay, we'll start the size comparisons off with a classic combo pair of three PM2. Line it up at the tips, and you can see it's coming in just about three quarters of an inch longer than the pair of three, something like that. And it's coming in overall just barely under eight inches. This is the eight inch line, and it's just like an eighth shy of that. Blade length, actually about the same. It's got a little bit on the Para 3, you can see a quarter inch or so, and way more cutting edge. This thing has a massive amount of cutting edge. Pretty impressive. And then compared to the PM2, it's coming in just a little bit shorter. So that's probably a better comparison. Handle length, fairly comparable. Blade length, PM2 has slightly more length, but the Farrier has maybe cut a quarter inch more cutting edge. Take a look at the handle dimensions. Yeah, eighth inch shorter. It's actually kind of wide, so it's a little bit like the PM2 in its width, especially at this hump here. Another spider cook comparison, we'll get the Delica out here. I'm gonna line these up at the pivots. You can see coming in a decent bit longer than something like a spider coat Delica. We'll get the TRM Atom out here. So overall length, pretty comparable to the Adam. Adam's movie got like an eighth inch on it. And these are kind of similar in their sliciness. In the blade grind, the Farrier has a bit thicker, th a fair bit thicker stock, but sliciness, pretty similar. They actually look quite close in behind the edge thickness. Get the Protec Malibu out here, just for another flipper comparison. A decent bit shorter, you know, the Farrier's got half inch or so on the Malibu. And I'll show you the thickness here compared to the PM2, a little bit thicker overall in this middle section, especially than the PM2. And one last size comparison while I got it here, the knife I unboxed it with Hinderer XM18. Overall length is not too far off. Hinderer's got like a third of an inch or so. Stuff like weight, thickness, um, blade stock thickness, all that, and the hinder has a lot more of it. Um, all right, I think that's all I have for you today on this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it, you found it interesting. Don't forget to go down, click the like button, subscribe button, and drop a comment. Let me know what you think about Damn Designs knives. I would love to hear it. You know, they've all got kind of this interesting, polarizing aesthetic, interesting lines. So I'd love to know what you think about it. Drop me a comment. And with that said, I will catch you on the next one.